Ford Court acquit them. In his affidavit before the Ontario Superior Court, Mr. Owen, sorry, Mr. Speaker, the Liberal Party has been using a false and edited and doctored audio tape of an interview with the Prime Minister to make false criminal accusations. According to Tom Owen and Alan Goff, two foremost forensic audio experts, the tape is incomplete, the tape has been doctored, including the insertion of fabricated soundbite, and the doctoring occurred a number of times. In his affidavit before the Ontario Superior Court, Mr. Owen said, quote, this tape has been edited and doctored to misrepresent the event as it occurred. This tape has been edited and doctored to misrepresent the event as it occurred. Mr. Speaker, we have said from the beginning that nothing inappropriate happened here. Donna Cadman has said that the Prime Minister's versions of the event are the truth. And we have said, we have said as well that Chuck Cabot himself said that no inappropriate offer was made. The Liberal Party has been caught using a doctored tape to make false criminal accusations against the Prime Minister of this country. It's time for them to come clean on what they know about the tape. <laughs> investments in this country. Mr. Speaker, the reality is that the fundamentals of the Canadian economy are strong due to the actions of the Minister of Finance, especially, Mr. Speaker, his actions in cutting taxes and cutting taxes early and deep before there was a recession. Mr. Speaker, the Leader of the Opposition wants to impose new taxes that would put this economy into recession. That is why he is not fit to be Prime Minister. Of They don't know about the flex line and the car plant in Oshawa. They're ignorant of all of that. What they know is how to increase the price of gasoline with a carbon tax. And tell me that, how that's going to help General Motors and its workers in Oshawa. Many times. When did the Prime Minister know about the situation? Monday afternoon. When did the Minister resign? Monday afternoon. When did the Prime Minister take action? Monday afternoon. Are the documents now in the hands of the government? Yes. Will there be an examination of this matter? Yes. By foreign affairs? Did the government take action? Yes. More than anything else, these repetitive questions demonstrate the inability of the opposition to ask questions about anything that actually matters to Canadians. The reality is, when jobs are lost, that's an unfortunate thing. But you know what, Mr. Speaker? Inevitably, companies have some difficulties. What we want to make sure is that when we lose jobs, this economy creates jobs. Since this government has been in office, since the Minister of Finance has been in this job, this government, has, there has been over three quarters of a million jobs net created in this country, Mr. Speaker, because we are pursuing an agenda of tax reduction and competitiveness, and we're going to continue to pursue it, even if the NDP and all these other guys want to raise taxes. I was doing in the past, I suspect that when I was... Order, order, order. Tell Mr. Speaker, at that time, the minister who just responded was in high school pulling the wings off butterflies. Mr. Speaker, we have let the premier, the prime minister of the country, appear before a parliamentary committee. Mr. Mr. Speaker, even Robert Mugabe is there. Why is the Canadian minister not there? Order. I think the member just outlined the credibility of the conference when it's being uh, one of the keynote speakers is Robert Mugabe. Of course, uh, there are a number of other legitimate concerns being raised at the, the opposition's ignorance of Canada's economic strength That's is right. disappointing. What's worse is that their warning cries are not based on facts, as the OECD revealed just today. Can the Minister of Finance please give this House a, a, a state? Of, economy, of Canada's economy. Toward Canada taken by the Liberals opposite. That negative approach is not shared internationally. The OECD in its spring economic outlook after two years of Conservative government said, and I quote, Canada has entered the current period of weakening global growth from an enviable position.